Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? I am doing another talk video today. I've done another one since I have not really been filming it. I just had a thought came in my mind. I had a thought came in my mind uh, while, like just a few minutes ago. Um, I was looking at the Lilith statue that I got in the mail on my coffee table and I was kind of thinking on religion. You know, kind of like religion talk um, in a way. Um, I want to say this. God is a higher creator. But really technically, you know, they say Eve is the first mother of all humans really technically that's wrong it's right in a similar way but they left the part out where she's really not the first woman for making making all of us human beings Lilith it's a part of the reason why we made human beings. The reason why I say that is, is because I've done some research and every time I end up uh, every time I end up, you know going um, to do something in, in an activity or something I feel um, I feel a little there or you know and she's calling me and every time I do every time I hear her call me I, I you know I answer and in my mind and because that's how she communicates. Uh, right now, I'm kind of on, on a like where you can go into the deeper realm of like a meditation state where. Uh, Which I've done that I've done that a few times, don't get me wrong. I have done that a few times where I could talk to the person that I know who I'm talking to in my hand. It would automatically write it out on what it on what it's wanting to do. And or what what it's wanting to say. And then that's the thing. And the messaging what what she said on what she wrote on the paper I don't have it no more but I mean like she told me not to give up not to give up on my dreams on what I want to become in life and she says that she told me that she said that she's seen great potential in me. and she said that she's been watching me for a long time and so Like then one night out of a clear blue, I had a, I had a dream of her, and as in a woman figure in my mind, and like she came to me in my sleep, and then all of a sudden it's like then I seen on who she was, but she disguised herself as the main woman. That I have the hearts for, 
She disguises herself as people that I have the hots for, I guess, I should say. Like, women that I have the hots for. Um, not people, but women that I have the hots for. Um, she disguises herself as those type of people, and, but she never really shows her true form to me. And, um, but she would always come to me into those former people. And in my in my mind in my dreams, and um, most people most of the time she comes to you in a wet dream, and um, I I barely even have wet dreams, you know. And but the thing it is, it's just. That's when I know that she, that's when she attacks. Not really attacks, but comes to you in, to talk to you is in a wet dream. But, um, but I made it, I made a covenant with her as well. So it, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty deep. And, and I, you know, I just told her, I said, hey, if you can work with me, you know, on what I need to know, on everything, on becoming a man, and that's what I told her, and, um, there's been a few times, situations I've had, um, master in my mind, you know, who, you know, what should I say, you know, to this person that they ask me on this? And so when that when that happens, I would go to her for advice, and then she would shoot she'll shoot it out what what to say out of my mouth using my voice and to them and. And then I'll go back to being my normal self. And it's like she can communicate to me and be me at the same time. Um, that's just a higher, deeper understanding of her. And that's what, how I feel. And I've been having a really, really good bond with her. And that's the thing, it, you know. And... Even though you can't see her or you can't, you know, really touch her, you know, see her presence, but she is around, she is watching, and um, she knows what you're always doing at all times, and, um, like I said, she's the mother, first mother of all the children, um, I would say that Eve, Eve is like the second mother of children. I would, I would say Eve is like the stepmom of children and Lilith is like the biological mother of all children. And that, that that's how I'm saying it. But um but yeah she communicates with me um daily. I mean we talk about lots of things, not just Dreams, not just uh, fantasies. Um, we basically um, talk talk about you know what we have in common, and she's a warrior. She's a she can be a lovable person. Um, she can have a bad side. Um, bad side is what you gotta watch out for, though. Uh, um, she does have a temper. And when I never had made her mad or anything like that in the, um, I don't think I have, um, 
but um, but I've always done everything that I try to do just to please um, my deity that I you know look up to and which I look up to the first mother of all children which is Lilith which you know she becomes known as uh, in the Bible I don't know really what um, how they describe it a succubus that comes in your dreams at night uh, but I don't really call it a succubus I just call it a wet dream um, but it's basically that's what a succubus is is trying to pretend to be somebody that you want them to be in your dream and that's all it is and but it's like I said I always have connection with her um, it, it was like I don't know what made me came across her um, I seen a video on it and everything on YouTube and and I was like, who's this little chick? And I was like, they talk about it in the Bible. And so I was like, okay, so I was doing research online, yada, 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 trying to find out information and basically is stuff that the Bible does not have. And so I want to say this is that, um, I want to say is that is she a great deity to work with? Yes, she is. Um, I mean, she has taught me a few things in um, martial arts as well. You know, just by trying to learn on my own. Um, she's taught me a few, you know, strategies to work on. Um, and she's a fighter too, and that's the thing. And she does come back, come with the warrior background spirit in her. And that's what she's known for. And, um, so, and they had, and I, I look to her as a goddess of love and war. I don't look for her as, I was really, Play her as the demon. I, I don't really portray her as a demon. I, her. I, I look at her as goddess of love and war. And that's what I look at her as. And I mean, I don't look at her as a demon or nothing. I look at her as a human being. And, um, that's how come she respects me because I respect her on what she is and what she's about and I you know she may not be here real in person but she can telepathically speak to you in your mind and what you have to say at once in a while and that's the thing she really wants you to spread a word about her and that's the thing and um and she and she likes it or admitted it, man. That's what I'm doing. Just trying to spread out the deity I look up to. Um, I I mean I, I was baptized. Um, I know that's not a good way of going to heaven, but um, by okay, still believing in God, but also worshiping. Not really worshiping, but looking looking up to answers for to another deity. I guess I don't know how that would be, but either way, I, I, I look up to both individuals, the good, I don't know really, I, most people say it's the bad, but I don't really say it's the bad, it's just on how you put it, um, it's balance, that's what I have. 
and this is what I try to have here. And but yeah, I still always believe in my creator, um, the highest creator, but really technically this is the mother of all creator, uh, which is love. So um you guys can argue with me in that, and you, may, you guys may say I'm crazy, you may say I'm drunk, whatever you want to say, I really don't care. But that's the deity who I look up to today. Um, the two deities that I look up to today. And she said it's okay to, you know, look up, you know, worship God, and, and it's okay to go to another person or another source of answers. And so that's that's what I do. You know, I go to her for answers and everything. You know, for advice. You know, once in a while, um, if I can't figure it out, she'll just tell me okay what it's about. And so that's how it is. You know that you know she has that a total effect on me. And the way I see her is that I see her as a beautiful blonde woman. And I'm not gonna name the name on who she is, on who has my number one idol there is. And, and she would always come to me as that woman. And but as like I said, you know, it is what it is. And but she is the one that I look up to every day and I look up to God, God the Creator as well for the earth and the animals, the food and all that. But really the one I look up to is for the one that created the people. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm Don for signing out. I'll see you in the next video. And even though this is kind of like biblical religion talk I really don't care um, but it's just something that I had to get off my chest and I just want to talk to you all later. peace